the prize of NHL free agency and newest Columbus Blue Jacket, Johnny Gaudreau joins us now on Sports Center. And Johnny, in addition to the new team, the new home, you and your wife Meredith just welcomed your first child, a beautiful baby girl named Noah. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was awesome. It was a really cool experience. Uh, you know, Meredith and the baby are doing really good, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's been great being a dad. It's only been a week, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> you signed the richest deal, as we all know, in this summer's free agency, and you left money on the table. You even shocked a lot of people when you picked Columbus. Johnny, was there a specific moment of conversation or something we don't know that led you to this decision? No, I think it was just what was best for me and my family. Um, most of my family lives in New Jersey, so it's just a short flight. And we've heard so many great things about Columbus, me and my wife, and uh, we kind of felt like it was a perfect fit for us and had nothing to do with money or anything like that. You know, we just wanted to be happy and thought it was a great spot for us and our growing family. You know, as you know, the reception has not been as uh, bubbly, shall we say, in Calgary. I mean, you name it, whoever, local TV anchors, and even recently singer Michael Buble actually took shots at you, at your decision. Have you heard all of these kind of reactions? Yeah, uh, I kind of hear them through my, my family. My, my sisters are super into social media, and um, they always let me know what's going on, but... Uh, I kind of just, you know, kind of take it with a grain of salt. It's no big deal for me. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know who the the bub the bub buble guy was, and my <laughs> sisters were going all, were giving me a hard time. They're like, I can't believe he said your name. And I was like, oh, wow. Well. January twenty third. We don't know if Michael Buble will be singing the national anthem in Calgary, but that's when you return to Calgary for the first time. Um, thoughts about the reaction that you're going to get from those fans? Yeah, um, not really sure what to expect. Uh, you know, I'm hoping uh, there's not too many boos. Uh, you know, really enjoyed my time there. I know the fans are super passionate. And I'm sure a few of them aren't happy with my decision, but uh, it was like a second home to me. Kind of went there as a young kid and left as a kind of grown up man. And we'll see what happens. I know they're a passionate fan base, so if they do boo, I'll understand. All right, Johnny. Another reason Columbus uh, may have been a surprise to some. You have a bit of history here. Let's take a look and listen. The Blue Jackets went on the ice. There it is. <laughs> I'm not the only guy in the building who gets scared. Oh, those cannons, Johnny. Are you yeah. over them? Uh, are you no longer scared of that sound? Yeah, yeah. Still, every once in a while, the first one of the game will get me. But, uh, you know, we... We played a few games already here in Columbus. We scored five goals, and last night we scored seven. So um, it's nice, you know, let the cannon keep going off, and I'm, I'm getting used to it really, really quickly. You may have the best nickname in sports. You definitely do, I think so, in Johnny Hockey. But you have a lesser-known nickname. I hear it goes by the way of Johnny Ham and Cheese. What's up with that? Yeah, in college, uh, I was super picky. I was a small, small freshman, and uh, <laughs> I go to the lunch cafeteria, and I just got every day a ham and ham and cheese sandwich with a massive chocolate chip cookie, and I bring it to the rink, and <laughs> I'd eat that for lunch before we go out and skate. And all the older guys would give me a hard time. You know, pretty simple kid coming out of New Jersey eating ham and cheese sandwiches every day for lunch. All right, Johnny, thanks so much for joining us on Sports Center, and congratulations to you and your family. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me.